This week on the ATP Tour, we have one of the biggest ATP 1000 events of the season, the final event of the season for most players in Paris. And we're gonna go through everything you need to know about the Paris Indoors Masters. The event started back in 1969 and was actually competed at the Stade Pierre de Coubertin the first 13 years of its existence. Then in 1989, it was actually upgraded to become one of the Grand Prix Tour tournaments, which was back in the day was what the ATP 1000 events were called. It was rebranded as the Paris Bar Masters in 2003. And then in 2017, it was called the Rolex Paris Masters after Rolex decided to sponsor the event. The first winner of the event was actually Boris Becker at the age of 18 years old. And of course, when it first started, it was a carpet court when it was first introduced. So a player like Becker loved playing on that sort of surface. And it used to be one of the fastest courts in the world and really rewarded bold attacking tennis. So guys like Boris Becker, Pete Sampras would really thrive at this event. But back in 2011, they actually decided to slow down the courts a little bit and they changed it from a carpet court to an indoor hard court as they were having so many problems with the carpets throughout the 20 years beforehand. In 2007, that's when it changed. The defending champion of this event is Novak Djokovic, who has won this event a bunch of times. And he's the only player to successfully defend this title between 2013 and 2015. The venue itself is at the Acor Arena, an indoor hard court venue, which is category four, a medium fast court. They actually have three indoor hard courts. So it's not a huge stadium with many courts, only the couple of courts. And the center court seats around 15,500 people with all courts having horse and of course, being an indoor hardcourt, meaning that the roof is fixed and cannot be retracted. The draw itself is a 56 person draw with seven qualifiers and four wildcards based on last year's tournament. 16 seeds are in the tournament with the top eight seeds getting a buy in the first round. When it comes to points, as it being a 1000 event, it's one of the biggest events for points and prize money. From the quarterfinals onwards, you get 180 points for making the quarterfinals, 360 for a semifinal, 600 for the final, and of course, a thousand points if you can win the trophy. When we get to the prize money, if you make it to a quarterfinal, you'll win 60,000 euro. A semifinal will get you 106,000 euro. The final will get you 187,000 euro. And if you can go all the way and win the trophy, you'll win 336,000 euro. So a lot of money on the line in this event. The Paris Masters, the final event of the tour for pretty much everyone except for the guys going to the ATP finals. Let me know down in the comments below, who do you think is going to win this tournament? Because it's a very open tournament. We've had some random champions at this event in recent years. Of course, Djokovic has dominated it over the last few few years, but we have had some crazy champions uh, pop out of nowhere, like Jack Sock won this event back in the day as well, so it is a bit of a random tournament. Of course, we're going to watch a lot of this tournament, and we're going to do a draw ceremony and draw preview next week, so make sure you join us for that, so we can see who these guys are playing. Of course, we're going to get guys like Rafa and Djokovic hopefully back in action, playing a tournament together for the first time in a long time, but let me know down in the comments below. What's your early prediction for the Paris Indoors?